All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got uh, some news here, I guess. Um, so I just took Lyft's little mandatory course, and I kind of want to cover on some topics on that course because I found that even though I knew these things, a lot of people really don't. And I guess I really didn't find it very helpful only because I already knew these things, but if you don't know these things or you're unaware, then we're going to go ahead and cover some of that today, okay? Because it is, um, <clears throat> it's extremely important because as we have discovered through a lot of like views and YouTube videos and Facebook posts and news articles and things like that, there are a lot of people that don't know these things. There's a lot of people that don't care. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what is inappropriate, how to deal with it, and how to identify if you're being inappropriate yourself towards somebody else. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So here we have the first slide. What is inappropriate? Conversations about religion, conversations about sex or dating, conversations about uh, politics, personal questions. And there's a lot more that goes into that. It's not just these things, okay? These things could include um, topics about someone's disability or someone's um, national origin or anything like that. Or if, they, if you pick them up at a Section 8 house, maybe you're asking questions about how they got on Section 8 or why they're there. Uh, do you get food stamps? Things like that. There's a lot of things you just don't ask somebody. Okay? And I would say put yourself in their shoes and really maybe ask yourself what would happen if somebody asked me that. But that's you, you already know that's not going to work because a lot of people say, oh, well, if somebody asked me if I was dating, I would say yes or no. That's not the case for everybody. All right? Body language, okay, so if you are talking up a storm about something, there's some body language or clues that people can give you that might indicate to you that it's time to shut up. Short responses, yep, nope, maybe, mm-hmm, uh-uh, uh-huh. Mumbling, where you can't hear them, what was that, what was that? Uh, if they're playing on the phone or looking at the phone or listening to music or they put in headphones. It's a real good indication they don't want to hear what you have to say. If they're being silent, maybe they don't want to be bothered. You have to really cue in on body language to really understand if you're making your passenger feel uncomfortable. And riders, you need to do the same thing. This is not just about passengers. Because sometimes you get in the car and, pardon me, and you ask a lot of really ridiculous and awkward questions. Or laughing awkwardly. If, if they're... You ask them something like, oh, hey, do you have any roommates in the house? And they go, ha, ha, yeah, I guess. I mean, that would be a clue that you just asked a question that somebody does not feel comfortable with, all right? What to do when cues happen? So when you notice a writer has given you clues that they're uncomfortable, you can change the subject. I would say shut your mouth. Or you can offer to play music or, you know, talk about the weather or whatever. But obviously... Here's my, my number one clue on this. Conversation is not necessary. You're not required to talk to them or entertain them. Okay? You're only required to get them from point A to point B. <coughs> That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> How to avoid making them uncomfortable? Well, this should be a no-brainer. You want to ensure your rider has a comfortable ride. <clears throat> For most of us, our answer to that question would be yes. So you don't ask a personal question. You don't speak of current events, any, any type of world news, uh, issues you know in other countries, things like that. You don't speak of topics sexual, religious, or political, or sensitive in nature. Okay? Um, I really don't need to define that. If you don't know, I can't help you. What if a rider is making me feel weird? Well, oftentimes a rider is the one making you feel awkward 
and you can change the subject. You can firmly advise that you're not comfortable. That's probably the first biggest step you can take. You know, sometimes it's not always advisable to do so if you feel like your safety may be at risk, in which case you can ask the rider to leave and you wanna report this activity to Lyft or Uber right away. Um, but firmly advising that you're not comfortable. So if somebody's touching you or getting close to you, you can say, look, you're in my personal space. I need you to sit back and, and enjoy the rest of the ride or we're gonna to have to um, explore other options of ending the ride, okay? Um, you wanna be firm but polite. You don't wanna be cussing them out or, or saying, hey, you dumbass or anything, no. If it gets out of hand, you pull in somewhere safe and you tell them to vacate the vehicle. If they choose not to, you grab your keys, your personal belongings, and your phone, and you call the police. That is the official answer. However, I would also spray some fart spray. Use common sense. If you wouldn't speak of these topics at your W-2 job, because you know you will get into trouble, then you would avoid doing so in an Uber and Lyft, you would avoid doing so in public, and you would keep your mouth shut. Because that is the number one way that you can avoid getting yourself in any kind of trouble. Don't ask them what they're doing later on. Don't meet up with them. Don't ask them for their phone number. Don't ask them if they want to um, go out to eat. If they ask you to come in, politely decline to say, no, I'm sorry, I've got, a, I've got a goal tonight, I really need to hit that. We can come by later. You can always say whether it's true or not, I'm sorry, I'm taken, I'm married, whatever, okay? Um, if, they, if they persist, then you, know, you just drive off. You give them one star and report it. Because both companies have a zero tolerance on both sides for this type of policy or this type of behavior. Whether or not the rider actually gets deactivated or not, I don't know, but that's what they're saying. All right, it's common sense stuff that you don't speak to people you don't know in a personal or sensitive matter. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. You don't go into your job and say to some person, hey, you look really good today. Maybe you do, maybe that's what millennials do now, I don't know. But I sure don't. I don't. Never have, never will. Because that type of behavior is definitely a fast track determination. All right? So leave your comments below, suggestions below. Have a great day. As always, be safe out there.